Hey everybody, it's John with Freshwater Systems. Today we're talking about refrigerator filters. And we'd like to start by dispelling some vicious rumors that are in the marketplace. In fact, we've even seen some YouTubes on people that claim you don't have to change the filters as frequently as the manufacturer tells you to. They've cut them apart, they look clean. Gosh, why are we buying all these expensive fridge filters when we don't have to? They'll last a lot longer than they're supposed to, or at least a lot longer than they tell you they're supposed to last. Well, let's address that very thing. One of the things that maybe sets them apart from one another is how well they're designed, how much carbon's inside, and how the water flows through the filter. Obviously, these filters, and this is the, the DA2920B, uh, water goes in the top and it comes out the top. So how does it do that and what is the travel? So the water flows down the side of the filter, down the side of this carbon block, and, and keep in mind we've cut this in half. It flows through the carbon to this center core and it comes up through the center core and then out the top onto your uh, through door dispenser or to your ice machine. Carbon works through a process called adsorption and it's taking away things that cause taste and odors and primarily what they do is they get rid of chlorine. They get rid of that smell and taste of chlorine. This carbon could be two years old and still be taking some chlorine out but you wouldn't be able to tell. Chances are, in a configuration, in a refrigerator, on city water, you're gonna get six months to 12 months of life out of this filter because all of the pores that are collecting the things that are causing taste and odor get filled up, but you'll never see that with your eyes. So I like to, to compare carbon to like a parking lot. There's only so many spaces where cars can park. And once the plot is full and all the spaces are full, the water will flow right through the carbon and right out. It doesn't slow down, but it doesn't filter anything. So just looking at a filter and saying, you don't need to change it, it's still clean. Well, it's not really clean. It's possibly exhausted. There's no more space to adsorb organic stuff that causes taste and odors, you need to change it. Another thing to consider about filter life is what kind of things you are concerned about filtering out. And, and a big issue today is lead. There's lead in a lot of the older homes. It's coming out of the plumbing. It's coming out of fixtures and it's best if we have a filter at the point of use and our refrigerator filter is a great way to do that is capturing lead. Lead is tasteless, it's odorless, and you can't see it. And by looking at a filter, you'd never be able to tell if the lead reduction capacity of that filter is gone. So that is one of the main reasons why you should change these filters on an adequate basis. Another question we see frequently is about comparing OEM filters, the, the appliance manufacturers and their branded filters, to aftermarket compatibles in the marketplace. Are they as good? Are they cheap knockoffs? Or do they run the gambit? And well, the answer is they run the gambit. The OEMs have a reputation and a brand name to protect. So those filters are typically good quality. And that is kind of the bar that the compatible should be aiming for. But they don't always do that. Some of them will provide less carbon. The infrastructure of the filter may not be as solid. And the capacity is going to be short. So you really have to understand the quality of the filter that you're buying. If it's not the OEM, if it's a compatible, is it a buyer beware shot in the dark? So to help understand ourselves who's better, we actually cut some filters apart. 
some aftermarket compatibles. And we started with our very own NeoPure version of the OEM DA2920B. And if you can see at first glance, the NeoPure compatible has virtually the same amount of carbon as the OEM. It fills the entire chamber or housing and the flow path is identical. So I'm very comfortable that this compatible filter is going to give me just as good a performance, if not better, than the OEM. And by if not better, I mean the blend of carbon and the amount of lead reduction capacity is actually as good as the OEM in this case. Well then, we looked at another leading compatible filter in the marketplace, also for the DA2920B. And you know what? There is a difference. If you can see quickly, the carbon filter itself is thinner. There's not as much carbon that fills up the housing. Also, the inner core is slightly bigger in diameter. So that tells me that this particular compatible is, has less carbon. That calculates to less capacity, both in chlorine taste and odor reduction, and possibly lead reduction. In fact, this particular compatible isn't rated for lead reduction at all. Another thing that we look at is how is the carbon supported in the housing? This particular one has a, a tubing and a cap to the carbon on both the top and the bottom. If we compare to this particular compatible, we see that down here on the bottom, it doesn't have another cap to hold it in place. It actually has a very soft material, much like caulking, in the bottom of the filter to hold it in place. Well, I'm not a big fan of that. So right away, here's a compatible that is not even nearly as good as the OEM filter. So there is a little bit of buyer beware in the marketplace. And just to toot our own horn here, our NeoPure, as you can see physically, has the same characteristics as the OEM. When we went down the path to create our NeoPure line of filters, we would not make a filter and put our name on it unless it was just as good or better than the branded or original equipment manufacturer's filters. So we paid very close attention to make sure that our performance and our capacities at least match the OEM if not outran them a little bit. And that quality is throughout our entire line of fridge filters. Uh, for example, on the, the DA2903B, um, I've got one here that we didn't spin weld together. We use a half micron carbon block. We put these caps on it so that we're not using caulk. And it allows a very consistent flow path through the filter to ensure that we get the right flow rate, the right contact time, and the best type of filtration for, for these filters and that runs through the entire range of our filters. Uh, here's another one that, that we use that, as you can see, very similar to the, the DA293B. This one again, very consistent carbon block. It fills the void inside, so we're getting the most surface area we can pack in there. And because of the spacing caps, it holds the filter right where it's supposed to be so we have equal, even flow throughout the cartridge. And by doing so, we are very confident that the NeoPure line of fridge filters is as good and probably better than the branded OEM cartridges that you're paying 30 to 40 percent more for, especially if you're buying them from the appliance dealers. Regardless of the configuration or style, these filters are uh, tested and rated to reduce a lot of stuff. Uh, this one, atrazine, asbestos, benzene, carbofuran, cyst, lead, mercury, and particulate. Um, across the board, this is a, a great filter. It, it outperforms all of the compatibles out there, but it is just as good, if not better, than the branded versions.
So at the end of the day, why put a filter in your refrigerator in the first place? Well, quite frankly, for many people, it's the only filtration they have to get better drinking water. And it's important with all of the things that are going on in our city water supplies, um, Flint, Michigan, uh, Newark, New Jersey. Uh, we're even hearing about problems in Canada where lead levels are way too high. And these filters really offer a, a line of protection for you and your family. And the fact that these refrigerators are being made to have their own filter on board really makes it easy to get filtered drinking water. So it's important, don't let the filter sit in there too long to where it's not filtering anymore. So yeah, maybe you need to, to change your filter every six months. At minimum, don't ever let it go past a year. Uh, if you got a big family, you probably ought to change it every six months. If it's just you and your spouse, well, you might be able to get away with a year. But it's really, really important. And if I can make any point in this blog, it's that one. Is looking at a carbon block, you'll never tell if it's exhausted or not. So then it doesn't prove anything. Just be diligent that you change the filter before it's too late. Well, that's all I've got for fridge filters. Just make good choices. Be sure and replace them timely. Like our video, subscribe to our channel, and check out our entire fridge filter line on freshwatersystems.com.